This is the Ecobee 4 Smart Thermostat. And this is the little Ecobee Smart Thermostat Room Sensor. Originally, this video was supposed to be an unboxing and a how-to video on how to install this smart thermostat, but it turns out that in my case, it was a little more extensive than I thought it would be. So, let's go back to the beginning, shall we? Hey everybody, today I'm going to be unboxing and installing the Echo B4 thermostat. It's a smart thermostat with a room sensor and built-in Alexa voice service. Now I've got a geothermal heating and cooling system in my home, so saving money is important to me and hopefully the Echo B4 will help me do just that. I currently have an Echo B2, which does not have the room sensor and it also doesn't have Alexa built in. On the way I've got coming the Echo B light switch and that'll be down the road in a future video. I'll be showing you how that one gets installed as well. It's more than a thermostat. Comfort comes with a room sensor to help manage hot and cold spots. Additional room sensors can be added and they're sold separately. Control, control your Echo B4 from anywhere with your Android or iOS device. Savings, keeps energy use low when you're not home and saves you an average of 23% annually on your heating and cooling costs. There's an asterisk there next to that. That is compared to a 72 degree Fahrenheit hold. So when you're not at home and you have it set at 72 degrees, if you use the Echo B4, you'll save 23% annually on your heating and cooling costs, according to them. Do more with your day. Speak to your Echo B4 and it'll answer your commands with Amazon Alexa voice service. Your Echo B4 can hear you from across the room with far field voice recognition. Easy to install using our step-by-step -step guide. So they say, you know, I'm not Mr. Fixer Upper guy. I have a basic competency level, I'm sure like most of you. And beyond that, it's out of my pay grade. So if I'm able to install this, then you should be able to too. And it may help you to watch me go through it uh, just to give you that extra confidence or if you get stuck. So let's open it up, see what we got. Got the little Echo B there, nice black box. All right, first thing we've got here is the wall unit. And the wall unit is almost round, sort of in between square and round. You can see there's a screen right here. You can see the screen inside there. So on the back, you can see what appears to be a speaker right here. And yeah, let's see if you can see these. There's some prongs on both sides, um, I guess to clip it onto something else. Okay, that's the thermostat. And then we've got a room sensor here. It's smaller than I imagined it would be. All right, you lift that off paperwork and also I guess the back plate for the thermostat. Maybe, maybe that goes like that. Not sure, I'll find out. We'll see when we set it up. Okay, so what you get, you get some labels so you can label your wiring, how to set up Alexa, how to install your Echo B. I feel confident. I feel confident that I can do this. How to install your Echo B room sensor. All right, and that's it for the paperwork. And then we've got some pieces of stuff here. We've got some, some screws and anchors. We have this thing. I don't know what it is, but we have it. It's got lots of different color wires on it. And we've got a clear plastic doodad. And this, which is where wires go. There's a level on it. I'm assuming it goes, it must pop on here. And then this, and then the thermostat will pop onto that. So it looks like it's got a white backing and a black front. Fairly large profile. I don't know, four and a half, five inches in each direction. All right. Next step is to set it up. All right, so we're ready to set this up. First thing to do is to figure out if you need guide one or guide two. And this shows you how to do that. First, you've got to turn off your HVAC system at the breaker box. Here I am at my breaker box, and I'm going to turn off my furnace. 
And then next is to remove your old thermostat cover from the wall. Okay, so now that we've got the old faceplate off, it wants to know, does your thermostat have any of these things? So do I have any wires that say L1, L2? No, I do not. Any warning high voltage labels? No. Or anything that says 110, 120, or 240 VAC? Not that I can see. So if you say yes to any of those, sadly you may not be compatible, and you've got to go to the website echobee.com slash compatibility to find out if you can still use this. If not, you go to the next page. Next, take a picture of the wires connected to the terminals of your old thermostat. You may need to reference this photo later on. All right, now we're at a checkpoint to decide if we go to guide one or guide two. Do you have a C wire connected to your old thermostat? I've got a D minus, D plus, ground, plus 12 volt. Well, I don't see any of these. I'm gonna say no. No, I do not have that. So continue to guide two. Well, this is where the follow along with the instruction manual ended for me. Since I didn't have either of the wire configurations on my Echobee 2 thermostat, I had to call Echobee's technical support. Several hours later, my new Echobee 4 thermostat was up and running. Yes, several hours later. Let me say that the tech support agent I got was extremely good at his job, and I am so grateful that I got routed to him. His name is Saki Patel, and he was a great communicator, patient, and extremely knowledgeable about electrical systems in general, plus very knowledgeable about the Echobee thermostats. It was like calling up an electrician, having him know the Echobee 4 inside and out, and then having him tell me how to do his job step by step and not charging me hundreds of dollars for it. That said, having a setup this complicated to replace a thermostat made by the same company that was only about five years old is not the best selling point for Echobee. So this is how we did the install. First, I sent Saqib a picture of my thermostat wires. Then he had me go to my HVAC unit, which is in my basement, and open a control panel which connects the HVAC to the thermostat. For some reason, the Echo B2 had this intermediary control panel, which is not necessary for the Echo B4. I sent Saqib a picture of the control panel, which you can see here, and we discussed its wiring and where the wires were coming from and going to. He then had me open up a panel on the HVAC to reveal more circuit boards. The first panel I opened was the wrong one, but I found the circuit boards after opening a second panel. Let me just say that these were pretty complicated circuit boards. I sent him pictures of the two interior circuit boards and we were ready to start making some changes. The way the Echo B2 was set up, the wiring from the interior of the HVAC led to the intermediary control panel on the exterior of the HVAC. There, the wires with labels such as Y, W, R, C, C, G, and O were paired down to the D-, D+, ground, and 12-volt connectors that match the ones on my thermostat. From there, they went upstairs through the wall and out to the old thermostat. At the intermediary control panel, Saqib had me disconnect the wires going into the connectors on the left side and splice them together with the matching colored wires on the right side of the control panel using wire caps. I didn't have wire caps at the time, so I just had to manually twist the wires together. And later, when we were all finished, I went to the Home Depot or maybe Walmart, picked up a pack, came back, put the caps on, and everything was good to go. But I was able to at least test the system out with the wires just twisted together by hand. The wire caps are just for safety purposes. I also have wires going to my whole home humidifier, which made for extra work that Saqib had to figure out on his own because it's not part of the typical setup. He nailed that setup though. I then went up to the thermostat and connected the four wires that were previously connected to my old thermostat, plus other wires that were just stuffed into the wall and not being used. The trickiest part was with the red wires in the intermediary control panel. Notice in the picture that the red wire goes from the top left, across the top, then down the right side into multiple connectors. Initially we spliced the wrong red wires together, and when we tested the system, nothing happened. Before testing the system, the HVAC panels had to be replaced because it won't run without them as a safety precaution. 
Since the system didn't work as expected, I had to remove the panel again. I ended up having to remove and replace the panel at least three times, not counting the initial panel that I incorrectly removed. This was tedious and time consuming because one of the screws was in a very inconvenient place. While I was on hold, as Saqib tried to problem solve our issue, I followed the trail of red wires to see that it looked like one trail ended and another red wire trail began, instead of being one trail from end to end. We quickly corrected the red wire issue and tested the system again. This time it worked! Saqib had worked over an hour past the end of his shift to finish the job. He salvaged what would have really soured me to the brand with his expertise. Supposedly, the Echo B4 works with something like 95% of all current thermostats out there. I assume that most setups are much easier than mine and just require you to disconnect the wires from your old thermostat and plug them into the right connectors on your new one. I already showed you how to pop off your old thermostat faceplate. Then you just have to disconnect the old wires, labeling them with the provided stickers as you go. Then put the trim plate onto the back plate and feed the wires through the back of them. You're now ready to put the wires into the new connectors. Taking note that the wires go into the side holes of the connectors, not the front holes. The front holes are for the prongs that stick out of the back of the thermostat. Once all the wires are in the right connectors, just screw on the back plate to the wall, snap the thermostat faceplate on, and flip the breaker back on. Hopefully you're up and running. All that's left is following the on-screen menu to set things up. The room sensor can be hung on a wall, or it comes with a plastic stand to have it sit on a table or shelf. Alexa is all set up and working well, just had to go to my Alexa app to enable it and finish the rest of the setup with the Echo B app. Now I'm just ready for the savings to begin. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Do you think it will be worth the difficult install? Are you planning on getting a smart thermostat yourself? Let me know. My goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Please help by subscribing and enabling notifications. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.